uh, this 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 queer by the name of Barack Obama has came out, and he's endorsed endorsed the racist Katie Hobbs. You know, sometimes when well, I'm doing a video, sometimes I'll start calling her Katie Holmes, and I just picked up on it. I don't know why I keep on. I guess I'm thinking about the actress or something, and I'm just going on and on. But I, sometimes you hear me call her Katie Holmes, and it's, it's, this really upsets some people and stuff. Get over it. Change your panties and get over it. You know what I mean, Katie Hobbs. But Katie Hobbs has been endorsed by Barack Hussein Obama. Arizona, in this election, it's not just candidates on the ballot. Democracy itself is on the line. And Katie Hobbs is up to the challenge. As Secretary of State, Katie stood strong in the face of relentless attacks to make sure every vote counted. As governor, she'll protect the right to vote and a woman's right to choose. Democracy needs defenders, and Arizona needs a governor like Katie Hobbs. This is the part that actually should make you laugh about the, quote, blackness of Barack Obama. This is why you should let you know. I've been trying to tell these, 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 these freaking slaves in the black community and these so-called uh, uh, guilty whites who keep on saying Barack Obama is so wonderful. Why would Barack Obama endorse a certified racist like Katie Hall? Tonight, a fired Democratic staffer challenged her former Democratic supervisors, usually on the front lines of the fight for equality. Well, one of those former supervisors is now a big name, Arizona's Secretary of State, Katie Hobbs. Team 12's Bram Resnick is here with our big story. Yeah, this case is surprising on many levels. Start with this. People don't just walk into federal court as their own lawyer and walk out two years later with a million dollar verdict. That's what Talanya Adams did against her former Democratic bosses. It's just like David versus Goliath. And I told, I told Talanya it was Talanya versus Goliath. Attorney Talanya Adams argued that her firing as a Democratic policy advisor at the Capitol was a case of racial and sex discrimination. And in her first case in federal court, acting as her own attorney, Adams sued the Arizona State Senate and she won a $1 million verdict from a largely white jury. Eight people mm -hmm. who did not look like Ms. Adams, but were, under, were able to understand where Ms. Adams was coming from. Uh, Adam. We can't even argue if she's racist or not, because what's even shocking is that Ms. Adams, who sued Katie Hobbs and won twice in court, she was a Barack Obama fan. And this now, this is even getting her. She says, uh, first of all, she says that Katie Hobbs is a racist. And she says that out of all the things that has uh, put her back, is now that Barack Obama would be endorsing Katie Hobbs, a sympathizer of, uh, of, of racists. Mrs. Adams says, how could Barack Obama do this? Because Barack Obama is amoral. He'll do anything for money and power. He took the sure loan for free, but he would do that for money too, by the way. Like if he wasn't famous right now because the fella picked him up and gave him a little of the cocaine, the snorty snorty, he was in the back of that limousine getting served up. I don't know how much of 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 the, of the cocaine he was actually doing, but it was a known fact that he was actually doing some of it. But why would Barack Obama endorse a known racist like Katie Hobbs? Matter of fact, they were even doing slave trading in school when Katie Hobbs was in school. And she been a racist for all this time. This black woman, she fired her because she wanted to get the same pay for doing the same damn job as a white colleague. Katie Hobbs says, listen here, colored. If you don't get back on that plantation, colored, Barack Obama says, I want to endorse uh, Katie Holmes because Katie Holmes is the best choice. He goes on to say, Arizona in this uh, uh, election, it's not just candidates on the ballot. Democracy itself is on the line. Well, you don't want Katie Hobbs for sure. Because we already proven that she's completely incompetent anyway. And you're definitely not going to get voter integrity if Katie Hobbs has something to do with it. He says that it's on the line. And Katie Hobbs is up to the challenge. She's not even up for the challenge for debate. How is she up to the challenge? He says, Secretary of State, Katie Hobbs stood strong in the face of relentless tax to make sure Every vote counted. Liar. 
He says, as a governor, she'll protect the right to vote and a woman's right to choose. Democracy needs defenders, and Arizona needs a governor like Katie Hobbs. Oh, you freaking get about to throw up. Listen to that trash. Now, think about this. I don't understand why Miss Adams is shocked. Because Miss Adams, whether you knew this or not, but Barack Obama went to the funeral of the KKK member, Mr. Robert Byrd, and he was helped eulogizing a KKK member. Now, just think about that for a minute. So I don't understand why any black or any so-called guilty white, well, I know why these, these left-leaning whites do it, because they're racist too. Most all liberals are racist, no matter what color they are. But see, here you have these blacks who worship their skin color, and you meet them, you see them all the time. The little Tiffany Cross on Miss NBC, Joy Reid, just, just constant worshiping of skin color. They want you to believe that all the problems that is going on in the black community has something to do with systemic racism and the Klan is coming to the neighborhood still lynching Negroes. Technically, this is what they're saying. And you got this freaking field hand, I'm sorry, house Negro by the name of Barack Obama because he, he couldn't work in the fields. He's a house Negro. And you got this freaking um, coon in Barack Obama who comes out and endorses a certified racist. You ain't even got to take nobody's word for it. A certified racist by the name of Katie Hobbs. She's been convicted of racist twice. Nobody can lie about it. They didn't get it wrong. Please allow me to say this clearly and unequivocally. I apologize to Ms. Adams. That was Secretary of State Katie Hobbs Wednesday expressing regret for her role in firing Talanya Adams from the state Senate staff in 2015. Adams showed in court the firing amounted to retaliation after she requested a raise and after she took emergency leave to tend to a sick child. Today, standing in front of the federal court where she proved her case to two separate juries, Adams cast doubt on whether Hobbs' apology was sincere. Her statement is not an apology. It's designed to allow her to get over a political hurdle. Adams is outspoken. She's, that woman is so phony, and she's such an, an ignoramus, too. She's just as dumb as Joe Biden and John Featherman. Because she went to this event, because there's a lot of Latinos in Arizona. And she went to this event, and a Latino man asked her what she has learned from the Latino communities. What have you learned? She says, first says, she first says, that's a great question. That's a great question. But she don't, she says, I don't see it that way. What do you mean you don't see it that way? What have you learned from the Latino people? What do you mean you don't see it that way? Today, today, you said that growing up in Arizona, you have seen, and I'm quoting, how impactful the vibrant community, talking about the Hispanic community, has been. Let me ask you, how has it impacted you? You personally, what have you learned, specifically learned from the Latino community? Oh, that's a great question. Um, I don't. Wow, that's that's a great question. I don't necessarily uh, think about it that way in those terms. I think um, I really value uh, my relationships across the board with um, with with different folks, and um, and I learn all the time from from people. Uh, in my life. My sister-in-law, um, she is uh, Latino and uh, her family, uh, I love hanging out with them and uh, practicing my Espanol. <laughs> um, so, uh, but yeah, I mean, I, I just, it's, um, I learned so much from, from... That doesn't even make any sense. What? That's his question. What do you mean I don't see it that way? She says, because she has learned from people across the board. She meant people across the border. She, she had a slip up right there. That's what she actually meant. She wanted to call them wetbacks. She says, I've learned from people all the time because she says her sister-in-law is Latina. Oh, here we go again. Oh, I love when they go this route, this route right here. White liberals are known for this. My best friends are black. My best friends are Latino now. My sister-in-law is, is Latina. Well, let me talk to your sister-in-law then. Let me see if you even talk to your sister-in-law. I like to have a hidden camera somewhere and see how she speaks about her Latina sister-in-law. 
But Barack Obama thinks it's a good idea to endorse uh, Katie Holmes, who is a certified racist. Certified. Now, how many of these phony so-called black preachers with the black theology is going to come out and go against Barack Obama now? He's literally endorsing a woman who's been convicted of being a racist. It's your black pastor. You got one of these black pastors. Maybe it's your white pastor. You're in the pulpit always talking about race. Please tell me if they still are supporting Barack Obama. Do they still think he was a great president? Laughable. He didn't accomplish a damn thing. And now he's supporting a certified racist like Katie Hobbs, who's completely intimidated to have a debate. I don't blame you because you're not very smart. From listening to her, I don't blame Katie Hobbs for not having a, debo uh, a, a, a debate. But you also would know as, as Secretary of State, uh, uh, there was a news report that says that they discovered an error that's le that left as many as 6,000 voters incorrectly flagged as not having proof of citizenship on file and sent an incorrect ballot. That's what she did as Secretary of State. She's incompetent. She's incompetent racist. This even makes it even worse. To be an incompetent racist, she has the same qualifications as Joe Biden, an incompetent racist. And Barack Obama said, it sounds like a good idea to make sure we endorse her. You can't make it up. I know I keep saying that, but you can't. I'm almost shocked that anybody actually believes that Barack Obama cares about black people. Oh my God, I love Barack Obama. I told you this conversation I had with a, a fella. Uh, he was doing some extermination for me when I was in South Carolina. And this fellow was black and he, he was out here, he was working for, uh, I forgot the, the, the exterminated company name, the famous one, whatever their name is. I don't really care. But he, me and him got on a conversation about politics. And he told me that he and his wife love Barack Obama. I liked him inside then. You're going to have a conversation now. I'm paying you. I, I literally gave him a history lesson. He started, you know what he told me? He, had, he actually had enough sense to admit this. He says, I didn't know all this information about Barack Obama. And my first question, how in the hell you didn't know this information? This is public information. Anybody knows this information. Barack Obama, first of all, he hadn't done anything. I said, I bet you believe the, the birth certificate is authentic, don't you? Then I gave him a history lesson on that. Then I told him about the, uh, the, the, the switch hitting of Barack Obama. He said he never even heard that before. How in the hell can you not hear that before? I said, but we get past all that. Name me the policies. I said, did Barack Obama make your life better? Did Barack Obama make the black people's life better? Did he make gays and Muslims life better? Did he make black? You say you're a Christian, right? Black Christians. Did he make black Christians life better? I'm waiting. Matter of fact, I said, give me the top five things Barack Obama has done. Do you know he couldn't name any? And then he finally came up with Obamacare. And then I asked him, do we have Obamacare? Guess what the answer was? No, he doesn't have Obamacare. I thought it was great. Don't you want to support the black man? Go get Obamacare. I said, Obamacare is trash. I worked for a company. I was working for a company when Obamacare came out. It made the insurance lousy. Lousy insurance. Completely disastrous. I said, think, think about this. You have insurance that fines you for not having insurance. What about the poor people who can't afford it? They're going to force you to get insurance that you can't afford. So this ain't like driving a car. You're going to go out and have a wreck somewhere. I said, what if you go to the hospital? I said, they already got hospitals that cover that. They already got hospitals that when you go to the hospital, you don't have to have insurance. Those are lousy hospitals, but they still got them. You're telling me you're going to charge me a fine for not having crummy insurance. You can't make it up. He couldn't even defend. When we finally got through, he said, I'm about to reevaluate that. And I'm about to talk to my wife about it. And I don't know if he ever did it because I'm not there anymore. I didn't talk to him no more after that particular incident. I never even saw him again after that. I don't know if he actually uh, got his head out of his butt or not. I don't really know. But if I get a chance to get you one-on-one -on -one with you, I'll just start. I question like a lawyer. You're not going to be able to defend the points about Barack Obama. You just can't. I done forgot more information about Barack Obama. When we have a conversation, it starts coming back up like a computer, though. Then most of the people know about it. There's, Barack Obama didn't accomplish anything. He didn't do a damn thing for anybody. No American benefited by Barack Obama. I'm sorry. 
No true American who actually loves the country benefited because some people did benefit. The gays benefited from Barack Obama. The LGBTQ plus benefited. Corporate donors who he was supporting him benefited. Communists and socialists benefited. And the Muslim Brotherhood and radical Islam benefited. Regular Muslims who actually go back, go about paying their bills and not blowing up anything, they didn't even benefit. Barack Obama didn't do anything good, but now he wants to endorse a, a known racist by the name of Katie Hobbs. And you think that this is actually a good idea? Get your head out your butt. You see, if we can actually just talk about merit, because whenever I'm talking to somebody and they start telling me about a certain person, I'll just ask them, tell me the reasons you don't like them. That's my first question. Because if you ask me why I don't like Barack Obama or Kamala Harris or Joe Biden, I'm going to give you specific Detailed reasons. What should scare you if you ask somebody the reason they don't like Donald Trump or anybody and they can't give you concrete evidence. I'm not talking about one thing. I'm saying they should be able to line up. If, you, if they say I hate a person, they should be able to line up and tell you at least four or five things the reason you have disdain for this particular individual. You'll find out that most of it is speculatory. It's not, it's not even factual. It's not built on really fact. It's speculations about something. And they'll be going on and on. And then when you actually ask them, then they get tripped up. They, most of them almost want to get offended. I was talking to somebody just the other day. I told Ms. Raya, I said, this particular person said they hated Donald Trump. I said, well, there's some things I disagree with about Donald Trump. I said, but tell me the reasons that you hate Donald Trump. First thing out their mouth was he's a racist. I said, could you name me all the racist things he said? They did not. They were not able to name not one single damn thing. Now, is that ignorance or what? You tell me you hate a person this much. Like I'm, a, I, if I, if you ask me why I disagree on Donald Trump, I'll tell you specifically what I disagree. But you tell me you hate him. Hate is a strong one. I'll tell you why I hate Joe Biden. I can tell you why I hate Barack Obama. I can tell you why I hate Nancy Pelosi. I can tell you why I hate Mitch McConnell. I can tell you why I hate Lindsey Graham. I can tell you why I hate Anthony Fauci. But if you're gonna say you're gonna hate somebody, damn it, you ought to have a good reason. That's just pure ignorance. It's ignorant to say you hate somebody and you haven't even thought about the real reason you hate them. That's pure ignorance. Matter of fact, people like that scare me. All this, because that to me, you you on verge of being just like any racist, whether it be a white skinhead or a Ku Klux Klan or a black racist or a Latino racist, Asian or whatever. Because when people start hating people based on something general or generalizing everybody, that's pure ignorance. If you want to see the epitome of ignorance. Just ask people specific questions when they say they hate somebody. And I'm just saying, that's pure ignorance. If you got a good reason, you can say, I named five things why I don't like this person. I said, well, okay, I see why you don't like them now. I've even done this when I worked in job. Especially with women, they be doing this. I hate this woman. I hate this woman. Could you name me three things she's really done to you? I just don't like her. Wait a minute. That's, could, are we children or are we grownups? Give me specific reasons why you don't like her. Why I heard she said something. Did you ask her about it? Oh, you didn't. So this is like high school again. I don't got no time for these high school games. I'm a grown up. And what you're talking about doesn't make any sense. You got to get your emotions out the way. You sound like a little kid or something. Getting all emotional. Then you mad because I'm calling you on it. Don't get mad at me. You got mail, damn it. Anyway, Barack Obama now is endorsing Katie Hall. And the reason that he's endorsing Katie Hall is because she's for women's rights and she will keep, keep integrity in the Arizona election. Are you freaking kidding me? You know, are you freaking kidding me? Evidently, taking Johnson's too much has clogged up his mind. Mm-hmm. That's what I'm going to come to the conclusion. Taking the Johnson must be clogging up his mind or something, because there's no way that he's actually sound. But when you have zero scruples, Barack Obama has zero scruples. Zero. There ain't nothing Barack Obama wouldn't do. If you take Barack Obama back right now and start all over and he didn't have the money right now, there ain't nothing he wouldn't do. Getting sure long, selling out his mama, selling out his grandma. Look how he talked about his grandma and his mama after they're the ones who raised him. And then he has all his love for his daddy who ran off from him. I don't blame your daddy for ran off, running off from me. I wish he'd have pulled out. We wouldn't be having this problem right now with Joe Biden if your daddy had learned how to uh, uh, put a, a raincoat on or something or did a pullout. I'm just saying. I mean, as far as I'm concerned, Barack Obama was the worst, one of the worst things ever happened to us. Oh, he, there's plenty of other ones throughout history. 
And we get London Bain Johnson, Roosevelt, trash. All of them was trash to me. I'm not as crazy about Abraham Lincoln as everybody else is. Because I don't really think Abraham Lincoln was really wanting to free the slaves. If I, if I can get real personal with you, I don't really think he was really trying to do that. If you go read what it actually happened, I don't want to give a history lesson right now. Because I know I'm going to piss a bunch of people off. Not that I care. <laughs> but if you really go look at Abraham Lincoln, really was not that concerned about freeing slaves. It's, just, it's a fact. Now, that, see, people get the people on the right will get mad when I say this right here. I don't care if Donald Trump likes Abraham Lincoln. I'm just saying, go read a history book. Go read details. Details about it. So I'm just saying, a lot of these people that we've had and the people that have built up, like everybody loves a Franklin D. Roosevelt. I think he was trash. I think he was trash. London Bain Jones, I think he was trash. Just like I think Barack Obama was trash. Jimmy Carter was trash. Herbert Bush was trash. W. Bush was trash. And Barack Obama is trash. And Joe Biden damn sure is trash. 